Hi, my name is Dave and I am a bird nerd. Welcome to my community, Bird Sculptors and Painters. How about that lightning story, huh? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're probably not on my email list where I give tips for painting your bird carvings with oil paints. Anyway, the long and the short of it is, I got struck by lightning fishing on Lake Superior many, many years ago. And I think it screwed up a few things in my head. Anyway, this video is all about another mistake that I see all kinds of people doing with their bird carvings. I did it in the past too, and that is circle feathers. So what is a circle feather? This is circle feathers. Now, let's see if I can find my finger on camera here. There we go, that finger right there, that feather right there, it starts out skinny, okay, and then it gets wider and wider, but then it starts to turn back in on itself as it meets the base of this other feather. That is wrong, and in this video, I'll show you why it's wrong and how to fix it. So what I have here is the outline of a few feathers from a mallard duck. On the left side, the full feather, on the right side, the part of the feather that you actually see because it's blocked off by another feather. Interestingly enough, about a day after I drew these up, I found this leaf, which is shaped nearly exactly like this secondary covert feather. Cut my eye. Anyway, that's a tangent. So this feather here is where this problem happens the most. This feather is a flank feather, a scapular feather, a breast feather, and here's the part that shows. So it might be a long and skinny feather like this, or it might be short and fat, but it's not until the feather at the very, very bottom of it, near the base of the quill, that it starts to get skinny again. And that is well, well below the part of the feather that you will ever see on a carving or a painting. So this here is how circle feathers happen. A lot of times what somebody might do is, again, with a side pocket of a duck here, they'll sort of lay out a rough sketch where they think the feathers should go. And then they're like, okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and complete these lines. And they come in here and they say, oh, I better complete that line like that. I better complete that line like that because I know that edge has to go all the way to the next feather. And this is how circle feathers happen, okay? Circle feathers do not show up on almost any species of bird except for in very rare cases with some strangely shaped tails. What is the fix for circle feathers? Well, it's simple. You just need to make sure that all your feathers get bigger as they connect to the underlying feathers. So let's pretend the quill is going this direction. We need to make sure this line comes out and gets wider and wider and wider until it runs into the next feather. That's all there is to that. And you will no longer have this circle feather problem, okay? If you enjoyed this tip, hit the subscribe button. Then you'll know when I upload more of the good stuff. You should probably also consider joining my community, Bird Sculptors and Painters. There's a link in the description below this video, and that will get you all the best tips and tricks delivered straight to your inbox, as well as updates on all the courses that I offer. I look forward to supporting you in your journey to Total Bird Nerd. Thank you.